In the last stream, we got into feature lines. And this is just going to be a repeat of what I did with feature lines in the, in the past stream. So I'm just getting into it once again. So creating feature lines. In this exercise, you'll use two different methods to create feature lines. Feature lines can be drawn either with straight or curved line segments or created from existing alignments or AutoCAD lines, ARCs, polylines, and 3D polylines. Let's go ahead and we'll run through this rather quickly because we've done it before in the previous stream. So create feature lines from AutoCAD objects. Home tab, got our home tab right here. Within the draw panel, we're gonna create a line. We're gonna go and from here to here and press enter. Two different lines. These are just regular lines. Now we're gonna go to the create design panel. Then we're gonna go to the feature line dropdown. Keep track of my time here. Create feature lines from objects. We're gonna select these two lines. Click, we're gonna stay in site one. And then we're gonna name the feature lines. We are going to go ahead and click. We're gonna click OK. And we've got our feature line here and here. And we're gonna put in a name. We're gonna select both these feature lines. Make sure that A, B, C are in, are in view here. Right click, apply feature line names. And then right here, we're gonna type in A, B, C. So now we have A, B, C, one. And then we have ABC2. Next, we can view this stuff within the sites collection. Site one, feature lines, and it's all right in this section right here. Now you can create feature lines that are outside of a site, but whenever you have feature lines that are within a site, they can be manipulated within a, a particular site. So when you have separate sites, then depending on which feature lines are within each site, they might not mess around with each other. So I'm sure I probably confused you right there, but uh, I digress. We're pushing forward. Next, we're going to draw a feature line, create feature line. We're going to put this in site one as well. The name checkbox, we're going to click that on. And then we're going to type in, instead of feature, we're going to type in C, D, E, F. We're going to leave the next counter right here. We went over some of this stuff in the previous stream. In the style checkbox, it's selected. We're going to check ditch. And then we're going to click. Now our command line is asking us to s specify start point. We'll click C, the center of C. And then for that elevation, we're going to type in 688. Next, we're going to go to D, the center of D. And then we're going to put in a, a transition. Type in T for transition. Oops, did I type? Oh, that's R. T for transition. Then we're going to go to E, the center of E. Type in we're going to keep we're going to press enter because it's currently on transition. Then we're going to go to F, the center of F. And then for this, we're going to choose a surface. We're going to choose the surface elevation. You can see that it's on surface and the surface elevation is 712.066. We'll accept this. And press enter one more time. And there you have it. We have our ditch. We can go into the elevation editor and we can check this out if we wanted to. 688, that's good. 71206, that's the existing elevation. So you can see just by the slope, it's a consistent transition to our existing grade surface. So that's how that works.